Did you know that crowded teeth have nothing to do with teeth? It's not that you get mama's jaws and daddy's teeth and the two just don't match together well. It's not about genetics. It's not about family traits. It's all about form and function. And form always follows the function. We swallow two or 3,000 times a day. We breathe 20 or 30,000 times a day. And those repetitive movements and any bad oral habits that we might have gotten into create the arch form that our teeth are shaped into. So if the body is very um, clean and healthy and the physiology is excellent, like primitive cultures who had no toxins, no prepared food, no processed food, and they were active and um, they had nice broad arches, Weston A. Price is a dentist that's famous for documenting the uh, natural cultures around the world and that they all had very similar uh, facial structure, a nice wide arch with plenty of room for the teeth. And he showed that in their natural habitat, they had plenty of room for all the teeth, even with some teeth. And he showed that in the first generation of uh, processed food introduction, the, that first uh, generation of children who ate processed food began to get decay and crowded teeth. So I'd like to introduce you to my MyoSmile um, biologic uh, airway orthodontic philosophy. And that is we can use the biology or biochemistry of the body in order to create the face and create the jaws and the, the function that will allow for growth and development in order to have enough room for the teeth. So in short, we breathe um, uh, 20 or 30,000 times a day. We swallow two or 3,000 times a day those repetitive movements along with any other bad oral habits that might have been picked up along the way from a passy habit or finger thumb sucking habit, whatever those habits may be. Um, and they also, it could be mouth breathing. Um, only nasal breathing is healthy. And in order to have nice balanced arches with plenty of room for the teeth, you must be a complete nasal breather. So mouth breathing is never good. Contrary to popular belief and the fads of uh, different running techniques and the, the yoga things that you hear, what creates room for all the teeth. And that is a natural swallow reflex, natural nasal breathing without any extra uh, particular pushing with the tongue pushing on the teeth or the lips or cheeks pulling on the teeth. So we know that the tongue is more powerful than needed to move the teeth. The lips and the cheeks are all much more powerful so the teeth are very basically very easy to move by a factor of 250 times more uh, strength in the tongue to move front teeth than is needed and the lips are 50 times more and the cheeks are 150 times more um, uh, create more force than needed to move the teeth so the teeth are the um, are, they're going to go in that equilibrium being pushed by the tongue and pulled by the lips and cheeks so they're going to wind up in that equilibrium so in short, what I've done is I've, I've created a system using my abrasive appliances, which are these um, natural um, silicone, uh, non-toxic uh, lip bumper type appliances that actually use food grade dyes. There are even infant appliances that for little babies, even as soon as they get through breastfeeding, if they hopefully they'll breastfeed, because that develops the muscle, the correct muscle function. So we like to get them as early as we can and prevent problems. But basically, what we can do is get the lips and cheeks and the tongue off the teeth. We can uh, teach correct nasal breathing. But I have, um, I have begun to use the Meyer Brace system, and this is the system that I like the best. I've used many systems through the years. I've done silver braces, complete silver braces. I've done complete clear braces. And these are not braces. These are appliances to create the face that has room for the teeth in order to balance the face and produce the growth and development of the jaw in order to make room for the teeth. This is a system that I like the best. I've used many ones through the years. This is a, a quick and easy system to learn. It only uses one little wire inside, um, typically the upper arch. There's one little wire in cases that are um, crowded enough 
that we need to quickly get some room to get the tongue in the roof of the mouth because the tongue is what stretches the palate. The tongue is the uh, expander and the tongue is actually the retainer after the, the therapy is through. So the thing that I have found that is so exciting to me is how to cut this treatment time down in, um, um, cut it down by a third or even a half. So when I first started my race, we, we said the treatment was 9 to 21 months. Well, we are seeing now that um, we make our treatment plans from, from 9 to 12 months with the bulk of the work being done in the first um, four months. I'd say 85% of the work is probably done in the first um, four months. Now, because of the system that we have begun to use, um, I've partnered with the Classical Buteco Group, which is a breathing technique, and it is um, um, it's based on the biochemistry that's uh, over 100 years old, and there's, it's irrefutable um, biochemistry that the body functions optimally if we breathe three to four liters a minute. And because of the toxins in the food that Dr. Price studied, because of the increase in the toxins in our water, air, our medicines, our clothing, our um, technology today, our kids are so very much more toxic. They have such a higher toxic load that their physiology has been affected. Because when I came through school, only one or two kids had braces. And now there's only one or two kids in each class that don't need braces. And so braces is the norm rather than the exception. And as an alternative to just moving the teeth where they fit together nicely, we'd like to, as a holistic approach, we'd like to um, develop the face and jaws to the most aesthetic um, development with the most room for the teeth. And so that's what we've done. I've got the best of both worlds. We're, we're creating a, um, optimal physiology with Buteco for Kids. This is taught online, and it is the first step in my MyoSmile bi Biologic Airway Orthodontic Program. So that's a lot of words to just say, let's get the kids where they can grow their best and grow room for their teeth, basically. Um, I, I do, at this point in my career, have a heart for kids because our kids are so sick. I have patients with um, migraine at six years old, PMS at 10. They shouldn't even have the ability to have PMS at 10. That's too early. Uh, rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, Lyme's disease at 12 years old. We have kids that are really suffering. Even weakness, um, um, mental and physical fatigue and inability to function properly. Kids that can't jump up and down. Kids that can't close their lips together. Kids that when you look at them on a day-to-day -day basis, 24 hours a day, their mouth's open and their tongue's hanging out. They have so much sinus issue and blocked nose that we need to go in and intervene. I had one mother say, you know, I've known for eight years that my child couldn't breathe through his nose. I've been looking for eight years. He was 11. She's been looking for eight years for um, a, a way to unblock his nose because she knew mouth breathing was normal and healthy. And she wanted a way that didn't use antibiotics and steroids. And so there is a proven way, and that is the classical Buteco method, not to be confused with lots of other tapes and books and um, other groups that teach part of the classical Buteco. This is um, the group that, that Professor Buteco awarded three red certificates to three people that he deemed were completely trained and qualified to treat patients. And that was after years and years and years of training and thousands upon tens of thousands of people that he had worked, uh, he had uh, supervised these three people to work with. So it's a specific training, a very specific group of people. It's taught online and um, I facilitate it. So I am connected with these kids when they start uh, to clear their nose and, and retrain their physiology, which actually resets the breathing center, which changes the biochemistry in order to increase hormone function and increase neurotransmitter function and increase immune function. And it just basically increases cell metabolism in order to make the cells work in a clean and efficient way, which then creates the ability for the body to grow and develop to its full genetic potential. So it's a it's a win-win situation and it makes 
a very simple system, um, much more effective and much more um, uh, has much more time saving. So it's easier. It's easier for the parents. It's easier for the kids. It's easier for us. Um, there's less visits and and um, their success rate is so phenomenal that these kids are even after um, a week, a two, or three, a four week period after doing the Boteco for Kids, and that's the classical Boteco method for kids, they are noticing improvement in uh, timed reading comprehension scores. Um, soccer coaches and, and other soccer moms are coming up to kids and parents going, what is your kid doing? He's the fastest one on the team. Teachers are noticing um, better behavior, better focus. Um, uh, music teachers are noticing um, better performance, focus, better hand-eye coordination, um, and the parents are just noticing a paradigm shift in the family dynamics because these kids, as you change physiology in kids and adults, as you change physiology, you begin to calm the autonomic nervous system and you get out of that fight or flight syndrome that we're all stuck in these days. And that, that one point is due to toxins, toxins in our environment, in our food, in our clothes, in everything we touch and do, every toxin has the same effect on the body, and that is that it makes you hyperventilate, which makes you have more air going in and out than the normal three or four liters a minute. So everybody ought to be able to breathe the quantity of less than a gallon of air a minute. But one in two Americans has airway issues whether it is mouth breathing, sleep apnea, uh, snoring, um, um, so one in two Americans today has some kind of airway issue, whether it's snoring, blocked nose, sleep apnea. Um, so one in two Americans, from infants to elderly, has an airway issue. And that could be snoring, loud breathing, chest breathing, sleep apnea. We know that breathing issues and mouth breathing lead to poor physiology and they directly lead to heart disease, stroke, and now it's been linked to cancer. So we know that breathing is a problem in our country. Half of us, and I personally developed sleep apnea. I've been a mouth breather. It leads to grinding the teeth. There's lots of signs that the dentist can see if somebody has um, airway issues. So grinding the teeth, bones that grow in the mouth because of the extra pressure, and food allergies, along with breathing issues, are the most notable and the first signs um, that we can see in dentistry. So the marriage of these two really great systems together, it's not one plus one equals two, but one plus one equals a thousand. And I'm so excited to be able to offer to parents an opportunity for their kids to look better, be well, better behaved, have well, good behavior, um, be well satisfied, um, better to get along with and happier and more content, more focused with better immune system, better neurotransmitters, better hormone function that, that just leads to a fuller, richer, more stable, more settled, more logical, more productive um, lifestyle. And so I'm really excited. This is my mission at this point in my career to introduce this to parents, to other dentists, to other, um, uh, other healthcare professionals because it has certainly changed my life. And I, want, I even use the my brace and I do the class with Tico. I found out about both of them um, about uh, two and a half years ago and going on three years ago now. And it has actually changed my practice, changed my life, and changed my family. So I encourage you to investigate it and look into it. And if I can help anybody in any way to learn more about it, that's my mission.